So to do this, I recommend you go to thevenusproject.com as well as the zeitgeistmovement.com. We have both of these websites for you to see as well. The venusproject.com is a fantastic website because it has these very clear, succinct, frequently asked questions that you can go down. There's 106, last time I checked, 106 frequently asked questions. And uh, it's a beautiful website. And uh, yes, I just encourage you to check it out. All right, all right. OK, what we're going to do now is we're going to screen our, uh, we're going to screen a music video that was made by the Zeitgeist Movement Ventura County chapter. Uh, it's a song that was written and performed by Jeff Uzel, U-Z-Z-E-L, I believe is his last name. Uh, and then it was shot, edited, and uh, motion graphics, all, everything else was done by uh, Ross Reeves. Oh, man, I'm just forgot his name, but I believe it's uh, Mr. Reeves. I know his last name. Also um, uh, in Ventura. So uh, check it out. When we come back, we're going to have our live round table discussion on traditions, the holidays, all these things. How do they really serve us? Check it out. I wish I could say everything's just peachy. Living life is so easy.
back, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just now joining us, you're watching Zeitgeist Live. We're a weekly live public access TV show broadcast out of Austin, Texas. Uh, our uh, intention is to, you know, put forth as much uh, great information as in, as entertaining as we possibly can in regards to the Zeitgeist Movement and the Venus Project, which is a global movement to bring about a globally unified world, a peaceful world, a world that enables us to be able to, you know, be truly free, free from the state. As a chat, making some great uh, points. Really not that free. You know, we, we really, you know, the, the state really propagates freedom, 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 freedom. But if you really break it down, we're really not that free. So a lot of the things, you know, I, I really feel that the Zeitgeist Movement and the Venus Project and a resource-based economy is what really will kind of be the um, tangible difference between the old paradigm and this new emerging paradigm. And when you talk about the new paradigm, what's still going to exist in this new paradigm that didn't exist in the old paradigm? And so specifically today we're going to talk about different traditions and Holidays. things like this, you know, how how these things are, how do they really serve us, and what are the, uh, are they, how do they relate to the planet, and uh, different things like this. So, for instance, you know, we just had, we just had Thanksgiving, because traditions, first off, Chad Fisher, ladies and gentlemen. Eric Summers. Eric Summers. Hello. In the house. Hello. All right. <laughs> so, first off, I'd say, you know, um, you know, like, <coughs> holidays, are basically traditions that were hijacked by the monetary system, essentially, mm -hmm. to be capitalized on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Valentine's Day, the epitome of that. The totally. Hallmark holiday, of course. Yep. It's Christmas is becoming one too. It's, I mean, it's like disgusting how bad Christmas is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, every every holiday is about monetary gain and buying shit. You know what I'm saying? Everything is. Never on a holiday do you say, do you ever see a commercial or anything, of course, but you never hear anyone say, like, oh, go hug somebody for Valentine's Day. It's yeah. always, buy your sweetheart a diamond ring or something yeah. like that. You know, it's yeah. never about real love. It's about this fake materialistic love that continues to propagate, you know, every year it gets bigger and bigger. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Until, uh, until people can't afford anything anymore. <laughs> well, I don't know how they can now, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah. uh, no matter how bad it gets, it seems like uh, the consumerism gets worse and worse, though. <laughs> when when you, I saw a bunch of videos just recently uh, about Black, Black Friday, Friday. Mm -hmm. and people just continue to to like just like start a rampage when they open <laughs> the doors. It's like I, I love it. You see this footage, and then at the same time, you hear people say like other other. Uh, other nations aren't civilized, but then we you see like Black Friday and shit, and it's like, hmm, but we are. Look at these barbarians running in there to get a friggin' plastic toy, you know? <laughs> awesome. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, you know, some. I think I thought about starting about it last year, maybe the last the year before that. Christmas and Christmas trees. It's like, how many Christmas trees? Granted, I understand they're farmed, but couldn't we use this space to farm food? Like, how many trees are <laughs> cut down every year? Just for one month. Yeah, mm -hmm. you get to, you can take that same wood and 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 uh, if not build a house for homeless people, or at least give them a fire for a couple nights. But no, these are for paying customers. It's, it's tradition. It's tradition. Yeah. it's yeah. tradition. Once again, it's tradition. Yeah. Yeah.